Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, good morning.
family yeah. well yeah. Yeah. Uh, to the house of God? Yes. Uh, is it your father? Was it, is it your My father-in-law? The, the father-in-law that passed away uh, last night. I was in the last, uh, I think it was last night. So, and then we remember the family in prayer. Amen. All right. You know, God knows all about it. Yes. He does. God knows all about yes. it. And, uh, and there's so many people that are dealing with one thing or another. Mm -hmm. And uh, like I was telling you the other night, we have health things going on on both sides of the family. My wife's side of the family. My nephew has a, a brain aneurysm that they thought they had taken care of. It came back again. And then I have an uncle that refuses to do the dialysis. And um, if he doesn't take the dialysis, he's going to die. And, um, and so they're now in Atlanta working with him on that. My wife and I call them and talk to them, that kind of thing. And then there's other people dealing with this thing and that thing. And you know what God knows all about? Yeah. He does. Yes, sir. No matter what you're going through, no matter how yeah. you feel, maybe your heart's broken this morning. Maybe you're disappointed. Uh, maybe you've been wrestling with something. And maybe there's things going on in your life you haven't even told me. And, um, you know, and then when you cry yourself to sleep at night and um, the pain and the difficulty. And you have people that are going through mental issues and mm -hmm. stress and difficulties. The whole thing, God knows about. Yes, God knows. God specializes in helping people with whatever problem. And the number one problem is the sin problem. Mm -hmm. Can I get that? I know we don't talk. A lot of things that happen in our life, not everything, but a lot of things that happen in our life has a, a lot to do with some of the things we've been involved in. Can I get a witness? Yes, sir. And our lifestyle, our issues, activities, and different things. But you know what? God loves us and God cares about us. Thank That's why God. we're here this morning. Amen. Amen. That's Amen. why we're here this morning. Like the song we sang last night, just a closer walk with thee. Yes. Amen. 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 We need to get a close walk with Jesus. Amen. 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 And so we appreciate each and every one of you, and we thank God for you. We're going to receive the uh, tithes and offerings a little later. Reverend Love is going to come and minister in just a little bit. So we're just thankful, and we are sincerely appreciative. I'd like to have my wife. One more time, stand and, and testify. Appreciate. Uh, we, we've all been busy all this week, yes, and uh, she's been doing a lot. I appreciate her, and uh, she helps me out and uh, does so much. And uh, and she just kind of sits and and just sit there and, and, and just do what God wants her to do. Amen. Amen. So just say a word. I'm just thankful for this day, and actually we work together because we are a team. Amen. We help each other out, and I just, I thank God for what he's been doing and the revival services, and I was thinking the other night during the revival that there was a time that I was lost and on my way to hell, but I am so glad that Jesus found me. He found me. And I don't ever regret giving my life to the Lord. And if I had a chance, I would do it earlier. <laughs> but I'm just so thankful yes. to be saved this morning. I'm so thankful to work for the Lord. And I'm just looking forward to all the great things that the Lord is going to continue to do here in the Keys Rocks. Amen. Amen. Yes. Yeah. 
drive you and have to motivate you. It's no fault. Yes. God bless you.
And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he had anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. And he closed the book, and he gave it again to the minister, and sat down. And the eyes of all them that were in the synagogue were fastened on him. And he began to say to them, This day is this scripture fulfilled in your ears. And I want to use this morning, verse 18, for my text this morning. Verse 18. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he had anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised. I want to preach this morning for a little while on the thoughts and the title of the message, Good News for the Needy. Good News for the Needy. For Jesus wants to lift you up. Let us pray. Pastor, please pray. Father, we thank you one more time for the privilege and the honor of being in your house. We ask now that you bless your servant as he preaches and meet the needs of your people and the needs of this community. We just thank you and we praise you for the good news, the gospel message. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank, you. thank you very much. Yes. In Matthew chapter 9, verse 35 and 36, the word of God declares, and Jesus went all about, or went about all the cities and villages, teaching in the synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom. Yes. That's good news. Yes. Amen. God wants us to go to heaven this morning. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. And there's an eternal kingdom waiting for those that are born again. Yes. If you're born again this morning, you can get there. Yes. And if you're not, all you have to do is say, Lord, I repent of my sins. Yes. I want to go to heaven. Yes. And I believe everyone in this place wants to go to heaven because you're yes. here this morning. Yes, sir. It says, in healing every sickness and every disease among the people, 
oppression.
He left that beggar stone. He threw it off. You know what? You know why? Because he wasn't going back to the way things used to be.
with excuses. Jesus doesn't waste time without excuses. You don't have time because he already knows about you. Yes, sir. 
Jesus said, come to me. Hallelujah. All you that labor and heavy laden, I preached not long ago. Give Jesus a chance. You know, and that's still, I, I, I'm just thinking about it now. I really believe in these services, the Lord is going to say to you, give it a chance. Give Jesus. Give everything else a chance. Yes, come on. Can you not give it a chance? You've been hurt. He said, I won't hurt you. You'll never hurt me. Mm -hmm. Be a friend that's to get closer to him. I mean, he'll never do you wrong. He'll never lie to you. He'll cheat on you. He'll walk out on you. He'll be there. He's a friend. He knows that you have a need of. He knows your physical need, your mental need. Because the Bible says he came to heal the broken heart. Yes. You know, the broken heart is somebody that's been shattered, crushed. You've had a lot of disappointment in your life. But let me tell you, this one that will never disappoint you. His name is Jesus Christ. Yes. Amen. His name is Jesus in this morning. As we close, I'm going to read this scripture as we close this morning. It's a scripture in Isaiah 57, verse 15. Because the Lord is not to them that have a broken heart, I'm going to leave that a broken heart. You know, a broken heart is the hardest person that you heard. But I want to close with this scripture. Isaiah 57, verse 55. But thus said the high and lofty one that inhabited eternity, whose name is holy, I dwell in a high and holy place with him also that is of a contrite, listen to this, a contrite and humble spirit. And a contrite spirit that means one has been crushed. One has been crushed, one has been despondent. He said to revive. That word revive means, and the Hebrew it means to recover. There are those places that say recovery. Well, this is a place of recovery, right? God. 
accomplish your will around this lake zone, around this altar.
church. Amen. And so, and God's going to take care of him. I promise you that. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. God's going to take care of you too. Amen. You serve God and you live right and you obey God. He'll take care of you. Yes, he will. God's going to over and over yes. and over. Amen. Yes. And he will take care of you. So and I appreciate that, sir. So let's give this unto the Lord and God will richly bless you. Amen. And uh, let's pray. <laughs> he just laid it right in. He was taking care of his grandson. Amen. Right? Amen. He's come a long way. Amen. Uh, Brother James, would you be so kind to pray over the offering this time, please? Father God, what a blessing to be able to give back to your kingdom, yes. to this house, yes, and to the pastor, Lord Father, Thank to the reverend, yes. to the to this day, Lord Father God. May you bless us for our upon those who are giving, who are able to give, and those that may have not much to give, Lord Father God, but we ask that you multiply us to be used for your kingdom, to be used for the future of your kingdom, Lord, to, to evangelize your kingdom, Lord Father God, yes. and, to, and to bless this house, yes. this, this community, and the surrounding communities around the Key Rock. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for the hearts that you touch, that you renew. 